It's Thursday, November 1st, here in Seoul. And this is Korea's Daily Headlines from Korea Now. I'm Jimmy Chung. The United States on Wednesday denied the recent rumors about its potential sanctions against South Korean banks. The announcement comes after smoking rumors that some South Korean banks are facing U.S. sanctions over North Korean nuclear ambitions. Next week, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo will make another trip to Pyongyang to discuss North Korean denuclearization process. South Korean Defense Minister Jung kyung do and his U.S. counterpart James Mattis signed the alliance guiding principles in the Pentagon. This guideline is expected to relieve the U.S. concerns about the planned transfer of wartime operational control, or OPCON. This official guideline concerns the continuous stationing of the U.S. forces, the Combined Forces Command, and the U.N. Command in the Korean Peninsula, regardless of changes in the inter-Korean relationship. Hyundai Department Store opened its first duty-free store in Seoul on Thursday. The new duty-free shop will launch at Hyundai Department Store's Trade Center branch in southern Seoul. Some 420 brands, including 40 international luxury makers, will join the new store. Moving on to K-pop. Japanese-American musician Steve Aoki thanked BTS for breaking the glass ceiling in the world pop culture. Aoki said BTS represented the Asian culture only with songs written in the Asian tongue. He said BTS global influence is equivalent to that of legendary Asian actor Bruce Lee from 50 years ago. Aoki's new song, Wasted on Me, is his third collaboration with BTS. The song is BTS' first song to be performed completely in English. Aoki said the Asian pop culture will continue to increase its presence in the global pop industry. Meanwhile, the Asian American artist revealed his wish to collaborate more with K pop artists such as Bonsta X and his close friend CL. K pop superstars EXO enjoyed fat sales for its upcoming album, Don't Mess Up My Tempo. As of Wednesday, EXO sold more than 1.1 million copies of the new album just in pre orders. Korean TV shows will be available on American cable broadcasting service Comcast starting next month. Korean TV broadcasters KBS, SBS, and NBC will offer their video content on online streaming service called Kokowa. And those are your top headlines for today. For full-length articles of today's stories, please head over to english.yeonamnews.co.kr and please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more updates on Korea Now.